We've got two more quick testimonials. Hey everyone, my name is Chris Wark. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and I came all the way here to tell you my story. I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer at, uh, in 2003. I was 26 years old. There aren't a whole lot of 26 year olds that get colon cancer. It's kind of an old person disease, <laughs> but I had it. Um, I had surgery about two weeks after the diagnosis. They took out a third of my colon. They took out a golf ball sized tumor. When I was in the hospital, um, the day I was checking out, I asked the surgeon, is there any food I need to eat or avoid? Or he said, nah, don't lift, just don't lift anything heavier than a beer. First meal they served me in the hospital after my surgery was a sloppy joe. So what I did was I went home and ate sloppy joes and didn't lift anything heavier than a beer, and here I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, they told me I'd have to do nine months of chemotherapy. I um, started researching chemotherapy when I realized that it would destroy my immune system and how ineffective it was. Uh, I decided I didn't want to do it. I had intense family pressure to um, meet with the oncologist anyway. And anyone in this room that's pursuing alternative therapy knows how intense the pressure is from family, friends, doctors to just follow the prescribed path. So I reluctantly agreed to go meet with an oncologist. My wife and I sat in his office. He told me I had a 60% chance of living five years, which is kind of true because that's what all cancer patients have, but it wasn't specifically true for someone with colon cancer. So it was actually pretty deceptive. But uh, even hearing that, I was thinking, okay, well, that's a coin toss. I asked him what other alternative therapies were available, and he said, none. There are none. If you don't do chemotherapy, you're insane. I asked him about the raw foods diet, because I'd been reading up on it. He said, uh, that'll fight the chemo. You can't do that. I knew I was on to something when he said that. <laughs> I asked him, uh, no, <laughs> he also said to me, uh, look, you know, I'm not telling you this because I need your business. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> like, that was the furthest thing from my mind. But then when he said it, I was like, oh, wow, yeah, this is a business, isn't it? Business. Yeah, yeah, it was very telling. Okay, so anyway, uh, went home. Uh, went 100% raw vegan, drank eight glasses of vegetable juice every day. That's 64 ounces a day. Did that for well over a year. Worked with a local naturopath in Memphis named John Smothers. Um, I did every therapy I could find. There's no magic bullet. I, I took every herbal supplement I'd read about. I, I did vitamin C IVs. I, um, I, got, I got a rebounder. I ran. I went to the sauna. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a Christian. I prayed like crazy, meditated on the scripture, you know. I mean, that was a big thing for me. Um, and it's been eight years. All my tests are clean. I had blood work done every month, CAT scans, you know, several CAT scans until I realized I don't want any more CAT scans. But, um, that's my story. Love to talk to you. If you're in the position that I was eight years ago where you're just desperate to find somebody that's been through it, that did it naturally, um, I'm, that's why I'm here. So I'd love to talk to you. Where will you be? I will be in the lobby wandering around. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> I'm the guy, yeah, the guy with the black backpack. Um, and you can also find me online. I did put all my story and, and everything I did, I tried to document it to share it with anybody that wants to know it. It's at chrisbeatcancer.com. So you can find me online there too.